Hello and welcome. This is Ruvelmonger, my friends. Abba is now out, and I've been playing around with her for a bit. And I just wanted to give you some uh, impressions on the character. Because as a character, hey, uh, she's kind of wacky, honestly. So just like the old days, she still has two forms, two states. The basic very slow form and uh, the more involved lightning quick crazy form that's uh, just pretty wild so ABBA came out there's a patch it doesn't really add anything besides ABBA but it did add the new stage as you can see here and it's a very beautiful stage and also Milia has a new move if you want to check that out but ABBA is the main event here so let's talk ABBA so ABBA is indeed a two state character the little bar here at the bottom builds the jealousy state and you can cash in the bar to be in jealous mode. And when you're in jealous mode, well, that's when things get real. That's when your normals get a lot better. You get a lot faster. In fact, I haven't measured this, but uh, I think she might be like as fast as Chip. Like that is a fast run when you're in jealousy state. And basically everything about jealousy state is you're the character you want to be. And when you're not in jealousy state, well, you're trying to get in the jealousy state. Basically, you're trying to build that bar to make it last as long as possible. And when you're not in jealousy mode, man, it's rough. Like, it's even more pronounced, this version of the character, than, say, like, Hakan was in Street Fighter 4. Oil Hakan was great. Hakan without oil, eh, not so much, right? Uh, her movement is, uh, poor, to say the least. The one thing, just going by the animation, I thought she was a dash character originally, but she is indeed a run character. So even if you, uh... Hit four forward and hold back. Even though you're stuck in that animation, you are allowed to block at least. So it is a true run. Even if it's a uh, very segmented and comes in bursts, it's still a run. And of course, you have your various moves here. The normals do change it from one state to the next. Uh, generally speaking, Jealousy has much better normals. Standing, crouching, or jumping. But uh, one little standout here is... Stand Heavy Slash does got some pretty real range to it, as you can see here. That's uh, nothing to joke about. So I saw the trailer, sure, you know, I saw some of the surrounding info around the trailer. But uh, a lot of what uh, preconceptions I had about the character were not correct, basically, but to her benefit. Uh, so something as simple as uh, this guy here, this is kind of like her command dash. And I was led to believe this is what we call upper body invincible. So like a uh, 6P forward punch. You know, okay, so certain moves I can just kind of go through them, but not if they're too low to the ground. Well, it turns out it can go a lot lower to the ground than I thought. So moves you would expect it to work on, you know, like a lot of characters like Standing Slash is sure, okay. But then we can get a little weird with it. Like say Leo's uh, projectile, right? It's pretty big. You would think it would hit lower to the ground, right? But we can kind of just dash on past it. What about Potemkin? You'd think the shield would be like, you know, a bit lower to the ground, but you know, with the right timing, you just use the command dash, go right through it. What about Axel? Crouch P is about as low to the ground as a move can be without being an actual low, right? Because this is, you know, a stand blockable move. But even this guy, if you have it timed correctly, you can actually kind of dash past it, right? So it's certainly better than quote unquote upper body invincibility is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it will still lose the proper lows. But it's better than I, what I thought it would be. So, you know, as a tool just to get a little space in, it's not bad. Another interesting thing is her little defensive move, like the parry. So this, uh, one thing I was worried about was can you still special cancel if you get your move blocked? And you can, but they figured it out, I guess. So if you use her command parry to parry a move and there's a follow-up, it just makes you invincible for the duration, right? So you won't get hit by the follow-up. That's one thing I was worried about. So it turns out they're smart, they thought it through, no worries. Also, when you do parry a move, you get a pretty substantial amount of the jealousy gauge built up. That's a giant chunk, really, right? So, uh, you know, just poorly thought out projectiles thrown out or just normals you can really sniff out. It might be worth your while just to go for it because you build up a big chunk of gauge for doing it. So now the thing I want to talk about is Jealousy State, but getting into Jealousy State. You can do it two ways. You can do it manually, this half circle back punch. And if you do it again while you're in the state, it'll bring you back. And it'll refund a little bit of the gauge. So there might be some tech to that. But bonding and dissolving, so quarter circle back and heavy slash. So it'll give you some gauge, put you in the state. Cool. But here's the thing. This is what actually gives me some hope for the character. Something I didn't anticipate going in. 
So the move, naturally you're doing a combo, whatever. You get your damage, you're going to state, you can pressure from there. That's cool, but the thing about it specifically is it's plus on block. So we can do the old fighting game favorite, the jump test. And notice the string here. And the enemy ABBA jumps first. It can be plus by a lot, but it is definitely advantage on block, which is really, really cool. Also, the move is fast enough that a lot of the strings you would use it in are all airtight. So you can kind of just do it and there's no penalty, right? So yeah, you're in like the slow, bad, you know, stance trying to build jealousy gauge to go into the good stance, right? But uh, you can kind of be brain dead with your offense. And you know, that's my favorite kind of offense. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not here to work hard for fighting games. So uh, plus on block also, the move is a, a guard break as well. So that's really cool too. Does chip damage and also on block, it builds up a good amount of gauge just by itself as well too, right? So you can kind of autopilot with some of your strings and that's handy. And also just, you know, a lot of strings, you're just slightly plus, you know, you might be in like a sweep range and slash range. Like just, you know, a few plus frames can mean the world, right? So I do like that it's just easy. Obviously, you know, going to stance, going crazy after that, that's going to be the hard part. But uh, you have one very strong option in your otherwise uh, pretty poor off, very immobile stance. So that's handy. So now let's talk just jealousy stance as it is. So obviously, uh, normals get a lot better. You get a lot more options. All the normals change up as well, especially, you know, the jumping normals. Like jump slash is an omega level cross up. Jump heavy slash also crosses up and bounces the enemy. Jump dust is like a wall bounce kind of move now, which makes combo structure just kind of dirty easy, honestly. Like you don't gotta stress it out too hard. You can get some pretty big boy damage of just about any hit without like thinking about it. The mode is very powerful. That's why it's pretty limited, right? But the one thing I guess I wasn't expecting, like I knew a little bit was a Dragon Punch Motion, Heavy Slash, the big double hitter here. So I saw like some of the previews and all that. I'm like, oh, okay, this looks all right. It apparently has armor. Uh, there's a couple of things I underestimated about it. And one of them is the armor. The move doesn't just have armor. It has hyper armor as an infinite armor while it's live. It'll tank through anything and everything. It's not just like a hit of armor, then the next hit goes through. This move is a plane for keeps as far as the armor is concerned. Also, due to the magic of the old jump test, notice how the enemy ABBA is jumping first. This move is also plus on block. So a move with infinite armor and plus on block. That's a <laughs> combination of properties you could give a move. One, I would always argue for, and people would call me crazy for it, but uh, it's very much here for ABBA. Now, I guess the thing, obviously, it's locked behind jealousy mode, so you can't do it forever, but Jesus. Uh, that's a pretty good move. I'll tell you right now, I tested it. The armor is not live on frame one. If it was on frame one, not, <laughs> that'd be beyond the pale, right? Uh, but it does kick in pretty early, so you can kind of kind of just do this and just go. Like it doesn't naturally combo in anything raw, but you know we're playing Guilty Gear, y'all, right? Like we don't got to worry about that so much. We're okay. We'll figure it out some way somehow, right? And if you do get to connect as part of a combo, then well, it will work out because it will bounce the enemy, right? And then you don't got to be too adventurous to find out routes that'll work that way. So yeah, what a ridiculous move. Hyper armor plus on block. This is abusable. The only downside is, once again, you're locked by the jealousy gauge. So it's counting down while you're doing it. But while you're doing it, might as well go to the bank with it, I guess. Man, she's just a neat character. There's a couple other things I found neat, like uh, her Rekka series, this guy here. Uh, it actually puts the enemy in the state of true hard knockdown. So you can actually do like real follow-ups. So like without your stance, you can like pick them up with sweep and then like do your command dash forward. But if you happen to be in your jealousy state, you can actually like run up and pop them with a close slash, which is really cool. Like if you get like quick jabs or whatever, you can use this pop jump 
and then land on close slash, but it's also a safe jump as far as I can tell. Like, I have enough time to block soul slash version uppercut, right? So uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of tech there. Once again, in your normal state, it's kind of basic and obviously a lot more advanced in the jealousy state, but that's gonna be the game, that's gonna be the character. And also just uh, not so much game, but just the character. Like ABBA is so full of life. The animators are always so good. Like you can tell she's absolutely obsessed with like Paracelsus, uh, her key husband. And also like some of the things like the taunts will completely change up if you are in the jealousy state or not. So like, yeah, it's just really cool. Also, I can't help but like think, I know it's supposed to be like, you've, you need to feel bad for Paracelsus, you know, in the jealousy state, because he's all melty and goopy and he's the axe instead of the key, but he just looks like zonked, like baked out of his mind. Hey, it's like that one time, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, like just, I, I guess it's bad news for him, but you know, he just looks like the right kind of silly. Whereas Abba herself looks absolutely deranged. So, hey, that's just some day one thoughts. Like, not even one full day has gone by. She only came out earlier today. But so far, interesting. Like, tier-wise, like, I'll just say this. When you're not in jealousy, she sucks, definitely. Bad movement. But, you know, not say any of the benefits of bad movement, like, say, Potemkin would get, right? And obviously, in state, you're, like, cracked out chip. And just everything's good. Everything just hits so hard. Everything does so much damage. And you have a hyper armored plus on block move. What's not to love, right? So remains to be seen where she'll wind up. But for now, day one, she's fun. I like her. The design's cool. And just like the aura of the character is immaculate and just fun. So try her out if you haven't already. And I guess that's the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Guilty Gear.